Hello, hello, hello. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. So, I just got in from work. I am hot. I am sweaty. Like, it's been one of those kind of days. But I have had these projects curing for 48 hours. And I have not been back in here. So I'm like, it's time. It's, it's time to see what we have going on. So as you can see, when I have this box that has risen tape to it, uh, when you see this box, it means that my project is finished and I am ready to reveal. As I said, I have not been back in here in a few days, so everything is still where it was. So this one, actually, this is one that I did off camera um, because I wanted to jam out to some music and you can't record a YouTube video and also have someone else's music playing so i'll go ahead and show you this one and this box as i've stated in other videos this is a storage box from uh dollar tree and it comes with an insert like right there but i just took it out because then i can kind of see in it so we'll put that out the way so we'll go ahead and do this one and it is heavy this mold is a silicone mold that I got well a silicone cake pan that I got from Amazon I absolutely love it but after only oh, after only after only maybe four or five uses it's starting to warp a little bit so instead of it being round now it's like it's a weird shape so we'll see how this one comes out so that is the inside and if you've watched some of my other videos, um, I'm using some of the same molds. And the reason that I do that is because when I find a mold that I like, I want to make as many, <laughs> as many projects as I can with it. And some of my projects I do sell. So if I make one and I like it, I want to make at least three or four. So if I have a show or some type of, of an event, I have more than just one, one to sell. So we shall see so i made this i had some resin left over and it was a lot of resin <laughs> so all right so we get that out oh and if you see my shirt i want to tell y'all a funny story as i unmold this so there's my shirt and i'll zoom in on it so you can see so it is a shirt for um corporal todd love it took me forever to figure out what this last name was but i am a thrift store shopper and i have a habit of buying t-shirts i love wearing t-shirts and i really don't i'm not gonna say i don't care what they say but you know that's the joy so a couple of years ago i went to the thrift store grabbed a whole bunch of t-shirts and this was one of them so today after about three years i finally said let me look up this name you know and just see what the guy is up to because I don't know him he doesn't know that I'm wearing his shirt proudly so he is alive and well he is a triple amputee and as of today I am going to reach out to him and take a picture of this shirt and just connect with him because that it's amazing that strangers can connect through a t-shirt so I'm really excited to reach out to him and send him a picture of me and my t-shirt or his t-shirt at the bottom it says I partied with a hero when i first got the shirt i didn't really read it and i thought it said we parted with a hero so i was like oh he died oh i'm definitely gonna wear the shirt now he's not he's not dead he's alive and well thank god oh yeah that's pretty so there it is so with this one i used um my blue gemstones I used my rose gold, rose, yeah, rose gold gemstones, and the round big circles are, what are these called? Glass, glass gems. So these are what they look like. Glass gems. So that is what is in the middle. It cured properly. Total bold. So if you've watched any of my other videos, you know I have been struggling with Total Boat. So I figured that I was pouring wrong. Total Boat Tabletop Epoxy. 
is and i'm running low i only have maybe enough for two or three more projects but total boat this is a tabletop epoxy i was pouring way too deep i thought because i had used a tabletop epoxy before and like a deep pour that this would work in that fashion and and it it, it, it didn't so needless to say that is that so this is the project for today uh, I really really like that and it was very easy if you've seen any of my other videos where I've used this silicone mold you know exactly how I poured this this was one layer and as you can see it's pretty thick so that's another good note for um, uh, uh, total boat that you can at least pour that thick under the right temperature and the right circumstances and it comes out pretty pretty clear so I'm really happy with that one